It's so important for non-COVID-based biotechnology companies to keep on working. The patients don't stop waiting just because of COVID. COVID is, of course, an incredible concern, but all of the other illnesses still are out there and still need cures and solutions. So we're so gratified to see our companies really dual tracking it, really trying to do both. And it's amazing to see the progress. The types of diseases that Regenex Bio is targeting include things that are inherited, often in children, where they have pieces of DNA that aren't functioning the right way. If we can augment or replace those pieces of DNA in their cells, that means dramatic changes in how care is delivered, the need for additional care, and the costs associated with managing these diseases. We're moving into a generation of therapies that can actually cure a patient entirely in ideally one dose. This is remarkable. And gene therapy that you see here at Regenex Bio is a perfect example. The pandemic has brought a lot of challenges for our company and certainly for our employees. It's been very important for us to change the procedures and the safety measures that we have in place. The most gratifying thing about the tour today was to see how much work is still progressing, even with the restrictions we're facing with COVID. And they're making huge strides and it's wonderful to see because the patients are going to be really thankful for it in the end. One of the things that's been really surprising about investment in biotech in the non-COVID space is that we've really seen a pickup over the last few months. In June alone, 15 biotechnology companies went public and we've seen $62 billion worth of investment in this space just up to this point in the year. Bio is such an important partner for Regenix Bio, and especially in this moment, they're doing an incredible amount of work to highlight how important sustained investment in innovation in biologics and biotechnology is. And that relates very much to the work that we're doing at Regenix Bio to deliver new therapies, including in important areas outside of the COVID-19 disease.